Would y'all believe me if I told you that apparently they're starting to sell coffee? Or no, they've been selling coffee that has like freaking Snickers flavor. That was one of the weirdest things I think I've ever tasted. Hello there everybody, I'm Sabine Nightwick and I'm here and welcome back to Persona 2. So... Conspiracy theorist, well actually not even so much of a conspiracy theorist at this point. Let's just say a certain little crazy lady that got kidnapped. So now we have to go head back to a place we haven't been since the very fucking beginning of this game. We are finally, after all of this time, heading back to Seven Sisters High. It has been a very long time, hasn't it? Why the hell am I saving whenever I've, you know what, never mind. Actually, you know what? Before we head to that school, We better go head back to the uh, Kuzanoa agency real quick. Get some info. See if there is any info to gleam from that right now. Yep, yeah, she's gone. I was here and I couldn't stop them from kidnapping the teacher. I'm so ashamed. I guess I'm not cut out for this job. Should I apply to be a game designer instead? That's like it might. That sounds like it might be fun. Dude. Pull yourself together, Tadashi. You're lucky you got a taste of the violence you admired. <clears throat> yeah, but it hurt. Oh, God damn it, man. Oh, I would have preferred to talk to uh, Tamaki, but. I... You, what the? <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you got careless. I hope we can do something for that teacher. Yeah. Hello! I'm sorry for what happened to that teacher. Looks like Tadashi took quite a beating. So you need me to spread any rumors? To think they'd strike when Tamaki and I were out. This was my mistake. I'm very sorry it happened. But, I hope Tadashi understands now. This life isn't as cool or clear-cut as they make it seem in TV shows and comic books. Yeah, maybe it might be a reality check for, t for this dude. All I can do for you is to spread some rumors here and there. This is all up to you. Alrighty. Hey, quit it, Aikiji. You don't have to say it like that. Say what? Sheesh! What a complete and utter coward! Come on, aren't you some ace detective who thrives in the shadow of the city? Oof. Tell Tamaki-san not to worry so much about it, Sabata-kun. We can handle it. I'll try. Well, I mean, I did try, but you know. <clears throat> the Maya Maiden. It seems my father still hopes to fulfill the Oracle. <sighs> lucky cat! Yeah, I will give you 100 yen, lucky cat. Let us hope that our luck keeps us, moves us forward. <clears throat> Let's be perfectly honest, it probably won't. Let's actually talk to everybody. It's been a while since we've actually sat down and talked to people. <gasps> hey! I'm alright now, thank you. Please look after Aikiji Kun instead. You know how reckless he can be at times. Oh my god, Miyabi's here! Oh, that's so nice! Of course you would go to Aikiji's family diner. Oh, that makes so much more that makes so much sense. Jeez! That teacher's gonna get sacrificed because of a book she helped write? Words fail me, man. Uh, yeah! Then it was you who took the in the Lekek to Kismet Publishing June. Ooh. I wanted to prove my father's theory. That's all I had in mind at the start. To think it would lead to such a ca catastrophe. Why can't I English? This city must be exactly what those teachers imagined the world would be all those years ago. Ooh. Does that London cloth here tailor jammer too? Looks like we're shaving on us. The quality is good, but it's pricey. 
Hey there, it's you. I'm on fire today as usual, but I'm not full yet. What can I do for you? I guess talk with you. Be able to buzz in about temples appearing inside of the bombings, but it doesn't surprise me. I saw much worse in school. I think you've already told me this. This has to be just a bad dream. How else do you explain it? Soldiers falling from the sky? The city talking to the air? Those temples! But ah, this sinus clearing blast of wasabi is real though. Enough. This is no dream. Then why is it happening? Hey, let's talk to Akiji's dad. Ugh, so you guys are safe too. Sheesh. First that huge quake and now the city's flying. What in the world's going on? That's not the voice I gave you. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You know, I just shut up. Got you, what's on your mind? Hey, kid. This is between us, okay? You know how Akiji's freaked out by my having ranks and all sorts of martial arts. That's all actually a little white lie I told him. I don't have any training in that stuff. I'm certified the abacus, but it was to maintain my dignity as a father. Oh. But it seems he's past his rebellious phase, so I'm thinking it might be time to come clean. The red opportunity just hasn't come up yet. Well, you're going to have to tell him eventually, but you know, you got to... Well, who am I to pry in the business of a father and son? You know what? Let's just have ourselves a good meal by you. Sound good? That sounds like a good idea in my book. Everybody is eating squid. Y'all are getting agility buffs. You hear me? Dine upon the squid! You know, now that I think about it, that probably was a bad idea, but whatever. Gotcha. Come again. That's cool that we got to see Miyabi. That's good. That's good. After her little story, I, I was so... I just got so goddamn invested. Hmm. Man, we'll just swing by here just because we can. It was the people of the city. Everyone's ranting about Idelians this and Idelians that. Something's wrong with them. I say no thanks. I didn't live this long to evolve into something else. Uh huh. It does seem weird not having any problems at all. It's like being dead. They're not human at the very least. I guess. I believe that everyone could be saved by becoming Idelians. Nobody wants problems or suffering or sorrow. I thought I'd get rid of all those things. But is happiness just the absence of sadness? If one doesn't face sadness, can one laugh? In all honesty, I haven't found the answer yet. All I know is that I'm happy right now. I want this to go on forever. I'm sure I can find the answer I yearn for someday. Well, that's what makes us human. It's kind of like the human experience. We all have just... Us having all of the emotions that we do is what makes us special. And what makes all of our the experiences that we have that much more impactful. As long as man lives, he'll suffer and face hardships. But life goes on. I think that's how we can find our true reasons for living. Hmm. I think the old guy's right. Being happy and being an idealian are two different things. Everybody, everyone finds happiness in something different. Even if they do become these, I... Hings. I, I thought I'd do it for them. Everyone. Hello! People like some actual dialogue, but... I just saw them pulling a woman out of the detective agency. Were they kidnapping her? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, why didn't you do anything? But then again, you know... Not everybody is capable of standing up to sort or, you know, fight or flight, that shit. Looks like the war between the mass circle and the last battalion is being fought in that temple. Will they fight to the death? There's nothing left for us to do here, right? Let's get the rest of those skulls. We already got them! Ken. Takashi. Shogo. Don't worry, guys. I'll get you back to normal. Come on, Soba. There's stuff we gotta take care of, right? Yeah. We got this, Aikichi. 
We got this. I, I can't make this. Okay, you're talking about your armor. You're safe. I heard the last battalion captured all the seven students. Did you manage to escape? Oh, god damn it. They're at, okay, of course they're probably gonna hold the freaking students hostage. <sighs> hey, you're a seven student, right? What's that light coming out from your school? Is the evolution starting already? Oh no, I'm not ready for it yet! Well, we gotta stop that evolution, god damn it. Uh, oh! The gent in London quality is quite a scamp. I never knew he made armor. His stuff is great, but very expensive. Okay, let's go have one more talk over with uh, our old uh, Irishman. Our Scottish Irishman whose accent I can't get accurate. Look at them. They're prying together in the hopes of evolving safely. Does the entire world's destruction mean nothing to them? Uh, let's talk with Togusan. A rumor means unproven information, but call it a word of mouth and people believe it. Call it a hoax and they won't. Perhaps that's why people are so credible when it comes to rumors. Still, the rumors floating around Samaru are particularly bizarre. Every outlandish story turns out to be true. They're more like word of mouth than ordinary rumors. Perhaps it's time to retire the very term rumor in Samaru City. Ugh. What the? What are these guys doing? Oh, wait a minute. I think we already went over this before. Like, yeah, I came here trying to look for, like, some sort of inf information, but I guess, or I was supposed to be looking for somebody, but nobody really. Yeah, I think I missed out the opportunity of getting some ultimate gear and stuff like that. I, I might have missed out my on my opportunities here. The only other option I have left right now is to just triple check the shrine back here. I'm at Elias Shrine. Because apparently somebody is supposed to appear behind the shrine. But, I have yet to see them. And there's nobody here. Except for an old man. Anyway, oh well, that's fine. Although the other option is... Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. All right. So we're heading to find the Naruto stone. And it's been a while since we've been here. Ah, uh, uh, to me, senpai. Great timing. We're in trouble. When the Naruto stone in the courtyard starts shining, that last battalion suddenly rushed over here. I, I barely got out and they captured everyone else. They're locked up in the classrooms now. There's nothing we can do with the soldiers still on lookout. Please, you have to save everyone. I I'm gonna get out of here. I'm counting on you, senpai. All right, we got some students, we got some classmates to save, eh? Sounds like we got ourselves a bit of a plan. First things first, though. Soba needs to cast Estoma. Right off of the, I cannot cast Estoma. So that means Estoma is still in effect. All right. That leads to the courtyard. I'm gonna go through the classrooms. Hmm. Oh! Okay, enemies are stronger, which means that Estoma's probably not gonna work. You ain't worth my time. I guess it's a good thing I'm also using a stone because that technically increases the rate at which my SP recovers. Hey! Whoa! Wait a minute! You... You're alive? I can't believe it. I'm actually kind of happy. Man, I'm glad I spread the rumor if you're here to actually help people. You still look like a fucking villain, but hey. Ah, Tommy. Your blows not long ago truly hit home in my heart. It's because of you kids that I was able to return like this. I have to thank you. 
The students gave me the gist of what's going on. You hurry and save Miss Okamura. Don't worry. I'll keep the peace at sevens. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this because of the rumors too? Like, the, the rumors came true and brought that principal back to life? Seriously here? Seriously? Principal Hanya? Oh, what's going on? Was the principal the one who thrashed those last battalion goods on the floor there? Oh my god, redemption? Hmm. That principal seems to have cleaned up his act a lot. Oh, you think it's because of the rumors? Remember how after the disease cleared up, everyone at Sevens was talking about what a great hero the principal was? It came true. Oh shit! I'll be damned. In the end, the principal here did gain the love of all of his pupils. But it wasn't I who led them to his ideal. It was the students of this school. He may be one of the few people whose ideals were genuinely met. Oh my god, I... Holy shit, I am glad I, I made sure that you lived. Principal Han is awesome after all. He'll always be our hero. Damn! I, I saw it with my own eyes. A guy wearing a mask took Miss Ideal and walked into the pillar of light in the courtyard. The last battalion. They went in. Huh? I mean, they went into that pillar of the light in the courtyard. Tons of them, too. I wonder what they're up to. <laughs> Dude. This is terrible. Just terrible. Miss Psycho is caught somewhere, too, but I'm sure Principal Hanya will save her. I really like Principal Hanya. I mean, he's so nice and strong, just amazing. Who wouldn't love him? It's perfectly normal. Ugh. Okay, now you're getting a little weird, lady. Or girl. The fuck, you're just getting weird. Alright, let me check the other rooms. Nothing in the janitor's room. I gotta check all the classrooms before I go to the courtyard. Or, you know, maybe I won't. <laughs> what the fresh hell is that? Don't tell me that's... That's Garamakala?! What? What? Wait a minute, you're on the first floor though. The last battalion's invasion of Principal Hanya's miraculous return. How can we call ourselves journalists and not write this up? Uh, the next issue of the Seven Sisters Times will be about Hanya's resurrection and the other defeat of the last battalion. This is gold! <laughs> I can hardly see through my tears. I can't believe the principal saved us again. Oh, Principal, I'm so glad you're safe. I had no idea the principal was so strong. He want the last battalion left and right. He might be the strongest man alive. Oh my god, we're slowly making him invincible with all these rumors. That reminds me. I saw Miss Ideal in the courtyard with a guy wearing a mask. The two of them disappeared into the light there. Does that principal have super speed or something? Looks like he has his powers from when we fought him. He's really shaped up. He still has his powers and he's now using them for good? Hell yeah! Huh? Principal Hanya again? There's some people that probably missed his dialogue. He's here too? But he was in a different room just a minute, moment ago. Did he pass us somewhere? Granted, you're the one who decides your own path in life, but your journey down that path is supported by many other people. Don't you sense that when you see the principal and his students? I feel somewhat envious of that man. I'm just sitting here like baffled. I, I didn't think that this would go out as well as it did. I, wow. Huh. I... Huh. That's amazing. Okay, so I can't get in there. Whoa, hold up. I just realized this room I missed. It's whip -ass time. Finish him.
Get out of here. So Nobody long. likes you, you fucking Nazi. And I leveled up. Put that shit in my decks. I just realized my decks is almost maxed. A couple more levels and that'll be enough. Let me guess. Oh my god! Wait a minute, I forgot to talk to Principal Hanya on the sec on the other floor. No, I'll talk to him right now. I'm glad Miss Psycho's safe, don't get me wrong, but the fact that Principal Hanya saved her, I don't know how to feel about that. Man, that teacher of yours! She's almost more like a sister than a teacher. <laughs> she reminds me a lot of Yukino-san. Hmm. I told that teacher about Yugi. We gotta do our part. We can't let those two outdo us. I'm trying to... That teacher always took special care with Yukino-san. And with you too, Sabata. If anyone has been fighting for all these years, perhaps it's her. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't worry about savings. Hurry and save Miss Okamura. Sabata Kun, jeez, where have you been all this time? I wanted so much to apologize. I'm sorry I said such horrible things. I, I had Joker grandma ideals. I had him make me beautiful because I wanted you to notice me. But it's okay now. Just forget about me like everyone else did. I don't want to put you to look at such a pitiful sight. Where did I go wrong? Oh my god. Miss Psycho was protecting us all before the principal got here. We're lucky to be surrounded by such wonderful teachers. That reminds me, I saw her in town. Who? Anna, of course. I saw her. She was helping rescue people with some other lady I didn't know. She looks so fierce, like she's finally back. I'm so glad! Oh yeah, Anna and Yukino are, you know, kicking ass, taking names, showing off what they're made of. By the way, Sabata-kun, did you see the light in the courtyard? I don't know, but it looks like the Naruto stone's shining. It looks like the stuff Miss Ideal was saying was true. Where'd you go anyway? I see. You can know fine elsewhere in town, too. <laughs> Don't let your senpai do you, Sabata. And stay true to yourself. After all, you only live once. You can't waste your only shot at life on indecision. Wait a minute, you're from the beginning of the game. I legitimately forgot about you. God, she never really shows up, so I was... I feel bad that I forgot her. I don't actually feel bad. What the hell? And the effects of a stoma wore off. All right, so that means that now it's time for me to actually start moving back down and... Okay, it looks like one more and then my persona will get its rank up. Thus unleashing its true power. Good. I've been looking forward to seeing what Apollo's ultimate move is. I didn't talk to him, so I gotta get his dialogue. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay. <clears throat> he's gonna say the same thing, I see. So we only had that unique dialogue initially and now he's like, well, what the fuck are you doing? I got this under control, go take care and save her. You idiot. Ah, who the hell am I kidding? I'm proud of, I, I'm proud of Mr. Ha Principal Hanya. I'm proud of you. You finally got better, my dude. Ah, shit. Oh, wait a minute, this works in my favor. Kick their asses. Hmm. All right, then. Oh, shit, no. Whoa. This is Heaven's Gate. Father believed that the Silver River was the path to Zabalba. He said that underneath Sevens is the Silver River that it, after it breaks off from Tanabata River. 
and that the Heaven's Gate that led to the underground Silver River. It was supposed to be this Nadaratu stone. Once we go in, there's no telling if we'll be able to come back. Sabatakun, are we all set? Okay, so... There's like... Okay. I, uh, I can't believe the Nadaratu stone was that important! Then again... I guess that's why you can always find Miss Ideal nearby. That Silver River thing is under here? I mean, I know this river right near it, but this is too ridiculous. All right, this seems like something that's gonna be very vitally important, so I'm gonna... Ooh, I think I might be ready for this, but I'm just gonna save just in case. You never know. Now that I'm actually sitting down and listening to this, this music sounds wild. Statue in honor of Principal Hanya. Look at me, follow me, don't rely on me. The brass plate with this bizarre quote has been destroyed by an electric drill. An electric drill, you say? All right, let's uh, head in. What the? Not yeah, there really is a river here. The walls are shining. The Silver River is a pretty appropriate name for it. If we go down this river, we should come out to the entrance to Zabalva. One of their boats is over here. Question is, who's going to pilot it? Oh no, she's gonna pilot it. Come on, all aboard. W wow, Big Maya, you can even pilot a boat? You think she can do it? Not a chance. Come on, get in. We don't have all day. June's just like, oh yeah, I'm excited for this. All right, let's sit down. So, when did you learn to pilot a boat, Big Maya? Oh, well, I have a driver's license. It's all the same thing, really. Oh shit, we're going to die, aren't we? Yep. Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye, everybody. Huh? What? Called it! We need a we need a moment of brevity. It's great. Maya's got the driving skills of Haru. Actually, wait, no, I stand corrected. Haru is like a main, is a demon on the road, while Maya is the... Hey, I, I can't even come up with a good enough comparison here. <laughs> Everyone's okay, all right, right? You know, I'm proud of my driving record, in a way. I've never killed anyone. <laughs> Oh my God, you pray! Oh, I'm screen. Oh, I'm screenshotting this one. <laughs> that is too fucking good. <laughs> oh, don't worry. At least I've never killed anyone. Sabata, it was nice knowing you. Farewell, Sabata. I know we only get to be together again for a very short time, but it's always. <laughs> Holy shit, we're gonna die! Now be a good girl and let Sobata take the controls. Okay, Maya-chan? Yes, ma'am. Alright, let me do this. Alright, give me a second. I think I got this. Here we go. Just gotta be careful. There we go. See, was that so hard? What? Wait, 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 wait. It just, it didn't even give me like a tutorial. Wait, wait, wait. Huh, huh. Wait, is it doing it automatically? Ready or not, here I go. How the hell are we fighting on a boat? No, oh, seriously, how? Are, 
Are we not gonna talk about this? Okay, so this looks like this is gonna be a gauntlet. I'm it's just gonna keep going forward. I don't have any control. Out of this. Highly apologizing for that, but no. Can I even use Maragi? Can I do anything? Sure, gigantic fist, that'll work. Yeah, use the gigantic fist against the lusty demon. Dark verdict. Hold the phone. Man, I really need to start using more fusion skills to be beat enemies, because I... So yeah, good news, it does look like these personas do gain new abilities. I was kind of worried if they were not going to learn anything or not. Okay, hold up. The fuck does Dark Verdict do? Dark Verdict. Well, that's obviously a dark skill. Uh, Deal high dark damage to all enemies. May instantly kill. Oh... Yes. Can I like speed up the boat? Yeah, it looks like it's an autopilot, so. No, that's fair. Out of my way. Hey yo, is that Lucifuge? Hey, I got it right! Damn, that's a lot of damage. I wonder what the odds are for like getting skill uh upgrades or Persona upgrades for doing this sort of thing. Also, our MP does. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the river splits in three here. What should we do, Chinyan? Go left. Go straight. Go right. Well, let's go right. I just realized this is probably going to be one of those dungeons where it's just going to be... Oh, God. I, I just had a sick realization that this dungeon is probably going to be one of those dungeons where you kind of... Wait, what? Saying. Sorry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I barely had a moment to do anything there. It was an instant encounter. Oh, and now the effects of a stone. Every time I do that, I go to check to see if a stone is what I need to do. And then I just... Oh my God. That is definitely the opportune word to be using to describe what is going on here. It is very, very rough. Also, considering how frequent our encounters were, I really doubt that Estoma is going to be ultra effective here. But here's hoping it kind of at least mitigates some of the encounters that we're going to be dealing with. Because I can't even tell if we're... I can't even tell how close we are to getting an encounter in the first place. Your death will be quick. Your death will be quick. <sighs> okay, admittedly with the frequency of these, I probably should have went to the store to buy even more Chewing Souls because I'm starting to run out. At least, I'm, at least I'm not running out of healing items, at least. Let me guess. Encounter. Oh. Oh. God damn it, me. God damn it, encounters. Uh. Yikes. Let's split up ahead, Captain. Port or starboard? Uh, starboard. If it wasn't for the fucking encounters, this would be relatively a good idea. But I'm sorry, I'll 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 say it again: the ludicrous amount of enemy encounters holds this game down. Sadly, 
I love this game to death. I'm, I'm serious, I love this game to death, but jeez louise. Yikes, another split ahead, Captain. Port or starboard? Port. I don't care, June. Do you want my autograph? You demons look new. Pusel. Wait, maybe I can... I am willing to try to talk to out my way out of this. Oh! Hey, demon, Sabata's mine. You touch him and I'll kill you. Isn't that right, Sabata? Don't be so sure of yourself. Do you know who I am? Pusel. You knew that and you still you anger me? You must be some kind of idiot. If you persist in making a fool of me then, I will punish you. No, I'll punish you. Don't try to be fresh with me, child. I'll kill you. Oh. Me kind of realizing that I need to heal people again. Thank God for rattle drinks. And boom. I called it. Another folk in the river. I'm pretty sure we've gone quite deep by now. Which time, which way this time, Sobata? Right. Oh, I can't wait till I'm out of this place. I hope I don't have to me I hope I don't have to memorize the route that I took, because I have been not even paying the fuck attention at this point. It has literally just not even been on my radar to pay any sort of attention to whatever the hell I have been doing. Because I am just so out of it right now. The effects of a stoma wore off. A stoma wasn't working. So, yeah. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It's. It's whatever because another enemy encounter is happening right now. See, now part of me is like wishing that I had downloaded a ROM version of this. Because I bet you there's somebody that made a fan-made patch that fixes the enemy encounter rate. Am I free yet? I don't think I am. Alright. Haughty, forceful, and wise. I'll try Maya. Oh, that's adorable. Like sisters, but also rivals in love. Aww. Somewhat parental, but some oh, somewhat fraternal. Love your mom and dad. I didn't expect to be scolded. Oh, hey, that worked. Do it again. Nothing as strong as the bond between parent and child. I didn't expect to be scolded. That's like twice now. You act older than you appear. You're embarrassing me. You say some interesting things. I like you. We can have six. Damn, that's a lot. 63 hangman cards? Don't forget about me now. 
All right, so now I have a way to get past those. Discuss with parents with her. Okay, that should speed things up a little bit for me. This also will probably save me some SP for... Oh, we've been going down this river forever. I'm bored. Will you quit your yapping? What'll it take to make you happy? A waterfall showing up suddenly like in the movies? Huh? Shh. That sound. Oh, no. No way! Oh. That's bad. Let's continue to do nothing as we fall down the waterfall. Oh my god, freaking AKG flat on his face. Looks like you're okay, Sobata. Thank goodness. Could you take care of Lisa and Big Maya? I'll check on Michelle. Right. Hey, Lisa, you alright? Uh, Sobata? Maya! Sobata kun, where's the others? Ow. That was horrible. That is an understatement. Whew. At least everyone's okay. There's no way we can get all the way back up there. Let's take a minute to think about what to do. By the way, June. What are you staring at? Whoa. What the fuck? Look at the size of it. I can't even make out the ceiling. That's odd, though. They know we're after them, so isn't it a little too quiet? There's not even a welcome committee here. This spaceship can carry an entire city, so I bet it has tons of high-tech traps. Everyone probably fell for them. Hmm. I doubt they all died, but you're right. There must be some pretty devious traps in here. <laughs> like what exactly? Lasers, maybe? A superheated room? Lasers, probably. Whatever it is, we can't just stand here. We need to get the Heaven Skull so we can put the city back to normal. Let's go! I'm... Okay, so we're just gonna be put in there immediately, okay. Not even a chance for me to save. Oh, what's these holes? So I'm trying to peep through to catch a glimpse of moi. Oh my god, they're lasers. Feast your eyes! It's a trap! Run! Th 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 that wasn't funny! My beautiful face nearly got zapped full of holes! Lisa? Ooh. I am so going to kill you after all this is over, you know that? What was that stupid feast your eyes stunt? There, there. It was thanks to Eikichi-kun that we noticed the trap. Come on, let's not stay too long around here. I'm the one that dived to go... Why do you guys keep leaving me? I'm done. I, my patience has been deteriorated. I do not have the energy to take on an entire dungeon. That is it for me. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Jesus Christ.